Row the boat. This and the, the following exercises are from a seated position. Your legs are extended forwards with your toes pointing upwards to the ceiling. This is important and again, one chi batten distance apart. Keep the knees relaxed, not locked, and allow the feet to slide as we lean back and slide as we lean forwards. In the leaning action in this exercise is all from hinging from the hips. Don't bend the front of the body. Also be careful not to overextend your shoulders. Keep the shoulders in the sockets, elbows relax and express through the hands. So the basic first movement of row the boat, as the title suggests, as you breathe back, you lean back 45 degrees, holding the ball, elbows spread. As you breathe out, hold the box, elbows drop and we lean. Off we go. So breathe in and breathe out. Hold the box, elbows drop, breathe in, spread the shoulders and breathe out forwards. Breathe in, spread the shoulders, hold the ball and breathe out. Elbows drop, extend through the fingers. Breathe in and breathe out forwards breathe in spread the shoulders and breathe out release brush the foot this is from the same starting position leaning back 45 degrees with the elbows and shoulders spread holding the ball as you breathe out, your waist will turn and you will attempt to get the chi batten vertical. This isn't critical, but you try and get this circular movement, particularly with the bottom of the hand around the outside to inside of the foot. Draw back again, and the same movement. The lower hand as a circling action to bring the chi batten upright, and as you breathe in, you come back again to this position. So we'll breathe in, in this position, and then begin. Breathe out, in, draw back, and out, right, uh, left hand to right foot, breathe in, draw back, breathe out, right hand to left foot, hold the box, breathe in, hold the ball, left hand to right foot, hold the box, Breathe in, hold the ball. Breathe out, right hand to left foot. Breathe in, hold the ball. Breathe out, left hand to right foot. Breathe in. Breathe out, right hand to left foot. Breathe in. Breathe out, left hand to right foot, breathe in, and relax. Work the shuttles. In this exercise, the toes are pointing upwards and the legs are spread. Be careful not to overspread the legs to strain the hip joint, just nice and comfortably knees relaxed. As you breathe in, adopt the same position as for the previous exercises, shoulders, elbows spread, holding the ball. As you breathe out, turn your central core and slide down towards your left foot, but make sure the chi batten stays the same height. Breathe in, stays chest height. Turn to the right, breathe out, elbows relax, hold the box, same position. Breathe in, draw back. So ready, off we go. Breathe out, left leg, and in, and lean back 45 degrees, turn, right leg, express, hold the box, breathe in, hold the ball, turn and breathe out, hold the box, and breathe in, hold the ball, turn and hold the box, right leg. Breathe in, hold the ball, and box, make sure the shoulders stay in the sockets, 
breathe in, spread the shoulders, turn, breathe out, elbows relax, breathe in, draw back, 45 degrees, breathe out, left leg, breathe in, draw back, hold the ball, turn, right leg, breathe in, draw back, 45 degrees, and finish. So walk the hills. This is a classic crunch exercise. So from this position, rest the chi button on your waist and slightly spread your elbows as you breathe in. As you breathe out, you slide up the legs, curling the body, and as you breathe in, spread the elbows again as you draw back again. Now as you lift the body, try and imagine you're holding a ball underneath your chin and breathe out to keep the neck as comfortable as possible. Slow movement. This one is going to be for five beats of the metronome. Make sure you lower yourself down as you do the action and not just collapse. So nice and comfortable. So. The chi button distance between your knees, spread your elbows as you breathe in, and breathe out for five. Breathe in, lower. Breathe out, relax the elbows, hold the box. Breathe in, lower, spread the elbows. Breathe out. Juice your curl, breathe in, spread your shoulders, breathe out, hold the box, breathe in, draw down, nice and comfortable, breathe out, and breathe in, And finish. In this exercise, cat stretches. As you breathe in, you curl the spine to lift the pelvis, taking your hands above your head. As you do this action, spread your shoulders and spread your shoulder blades again, as before, holding the box. As you breathe out, you roll the spine down. Don't bring the spine down flat, roll the spine down. And then as soon as you're in this position, you begin your next repetition. So movement of the arms and the body moving as one piece. Nice and relaxed. Off we go. So begin resting the chi button on your waist and breathe in. Spread the shoulders and breathe out, roll down, and in, and out, in, hold the box, spread the shoulders, and out, hold the ball, elbows forwards, breathe in, hold the box, spread the shoulders, breathe out, elbows forwards, hold the ball. Breathe in, hold the box, spread the shoulders, breathe out, elbows forwards, and relax. The next exercise, knee drops, is to help to relieve pressure on the spine by a, a nice rotational movement. It's in three sections. The first part will work the lower part of the spine, second part, midsection, and the third part will work the upper part of the spine, so it's a complete spinal stretch. On this first action, as Louise breathes in, she'll take her knees to the left and her arms above the head, spreading the shoulders. As she breathes out, knees become upright as the arms lower. She breathes in and then reverses the other side and breathe out, draws back again. So we do uh, two repetitions each side in this position. Then if Louise completely straightens her left leg and then places the heel just below the knee, then brings the other leg up to match it, this is the second position that works 
the middle part of the back. And the same action will happen as she breathes in, the knees will go to one side and breathe out, and so on. The third position, if Louise straightens the left leg and then takes her right leg down so that the heel is just above the ankle and then lifts her toe off the floor, both toes slightly higher, Louise, from that position, and then she does the rocking action from side to side here, and again that will help to release the upper part of the spine. So some three positions, and we do two repetitions each side in each position. So off we go. So to start with, quite nice and comfortably, draw your heels in, and you can use your hands to help you to draw them as tight as you can to your buttocks. Knees together, ankles together, starting off to the left, and breathe in, knees to the left, spread your shoulders, arms above your head, hold the box, breathe out, straighten. And to the right, spread the shoulders, and straighten. To the left, spread the shoulders, hold the box, and breathe out, elbows forwards, hold the ball, breathe in, knees to the right, and breathe out, release. Now take your feet to the second position. Remember, the heel will be just below the knee. Knees tight together, feet together. Off we go. And breathe in. Spread the shoulders, knees to the left. And breathe out. Elbows forwards. Hold the ball. Breathe in. Knees to the right. And breathe out. Elbows forwards. Hold the ball. Breathe in, knees to the left, and release, elbows forwards, to the right, and finish. Third position, straighten your left leg and place your right heel just above the ankle, toes pointing away from the floor, feet tight together, knees tight together, third position, breathe in, to the left, and breathe out, straighten, to the right, spread the shoulders, and straighten, to the left, and straighten, hold the ball, to the right, and finish.